CNN's Frederick Pleitkin is in Damascus. He joins us now live. Uh, interesting developments, uh, Fred, seeing uh, Egypt pull away from a former ally. Yeah, and that made an interesting development, also quite a significant one as well. One of the things that uh, Mohamed Morsi said in that speech is he said that uh, a main factor that caused him to be swayed in his position, if you will, was the new U.S. evidence laid forward that apparently the Syrian regime had used chemical weapons uh, on the battlefield here in Syria. And so therefore he felt it was now uh, at the time to make this move. It is also quite a significant one because Egypt, even though it is, of course, right now, uh, has this um, th this Muslim Brotherhood president was always seen as a possible mediator on the one hand between the Iranian interests, which are, of course, on the side of the Assad government, and also with the West, because it is a government that has good ties to the West, but also has had relations with the Iranians as well. Now, it seems as though those relations are in trouble also, but it certainly takes one avenue of possible mediation in this conflict away. There haven't been any official reactions from the Syrian government to this just yet. Of course, the Syrian government right now is still debating what to do next after the U.S. changed its position. They're sort of in a mode of waiting to see what America will announce, what steps America is going to take as far as supplying the rebels with weapons, what kind of weapons you're going to see on the battlefield, when they're going to come, what other sort of assets the U.S. might put into play here. Of course, the no-fly zone is something that the Obama government has said is not really on the table at this point in time, but now you can really feel at this point that the Syrian government is sort of in a watching and waiting mode. Meanwhile, the mood on the streets of Damascus, and we were just out a couple of minutes ago, is still one of defiance where people are saying they believe that their military is in a strong position. They don't believe that their military or their government has ever used chemical weapons on the battlefield. And one of the things that you hear people say is if the Americans want to come, they should try, Natalie. All right, Fred Pleitgen following it for us from Damascus. Thanks very much.